how are you welcome again on my channel the rich post today in this video i will show you how we can easily implement tax editor in our angular 9 application and also i will show you how we can validate it on reactive form submit let's here go first of all I want to say you stay home and stay healthy and I also want to say you thank you because you are liking my video so much thanks let's proceed If you have any kind of query, then you can comment on this video. For more help, you can email me on my email ID and I will mention my email address in the video description. And please subscribe my channel for latest Angular Laravel updates. It is submitting the login form. Oops, it is taking time because of API. Great, the login is fine. I have also already made the video on this. And my last video is regarding their table click open bootstrap model pop up and Thank you all guys for liking that very much. Here is the text editor. Look, I have implemented that in my Angular 9 application. It is working fine. First of all, I want to show you how validation will work. Now the edit is empty and I'm going to click the register button. Look, description is required maximum 400 and minimum 5 alphabets and numbers. Now check the validation 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Great, the validation working fine. Now I will show you how text editor will work. Great. Perfect. You can see that all the elements of data is working fine. Now I will show you the code of this text editor. First of all, you have to install Kolkov Angular Editor and for this you have to run the command into your command prompt npm install at the rate Kolkov slash angular hyphen text hyphen hyphen save after this
on your app dot module dot ps5 you have to add the this code import angular editor module and this angular editor editor module you have to write in your import section after it in your app dot component dot ps file you have to add the code this code you can see that i have using bo bootstrap for in my angular 9 for this for install bootstrap you can check my old video and my blog post my blog name is garichpost.com now let's come to the point this is the reactive form code you can copy it as it is into your app dot computer ts file now come to the component.ts file first of all you have to import the form builder form group form control validate validators into your app dot component dot ts file after it you have to initialize the form data variable into your constructor you have to mention the form builder object after it you have to write this function on click submit with this the validation will occur this is i have mentioned in form tag after it you have to write this code in ng on initialize method form data this to form builder group description and here i have defined the validation process and in my next post I will show you how we can send this editor data to our backend. And for backend, I have used Laravel and database MySQL database. If you have any kind of query, then please comment on this video. Now I will show you the working again. Look, the validation is working fine. 400 to 5. Thank you friends. And don't worry, I will share the code on my blog post and my blog post link I will share in the video description. Thank you friend. Have a nice day. Stay home and stay healthy and fight with coronavirus.